lot of people that ask me about my pedals and how I do my looping and stuff like that. So this gives me a great chance to uh, play for you guys because everyone's off the ship right now and uh, I just want to go in depth more into pedals and things like that. Starting from where I plug in the guitar, I use it as a tuner obviously, but I also use it to mute my guitar channel. Next to that, you got the wah pedal. It's great for making acoustics sound a little bit more electric and having a little bit of fun with it. Next to that, we have the octave pedal. And the octave pedal, basically, it's my bass. That's, uh, it's able to take this, you know, and make it go an octave lower. Okay, next to that is a custom made, it was supposed to be a reverb pedal, but it ended up being more of a chorus pedal for me. Um, it's, it's actually a really good pedal and I like it a lot. Thank you Jason Gordney for making that for me. So next to that I have my delay pedal. I have a tempo out, it's called Tap That. Going from there I actually have another reverb board just over all of the guitar so it has a lot of presence to it. And then that goes into my mixing board. My microphone goes down into the volume pedal. And the volume pedal is crucial because I have to be able to kill the microphone when I'm doing other loops otherwise it'll feed back. So from the mixer, that all goes into my looping station. And it's more of a delay pedal. It has a very fantastic looping component to it. With that, I press one button. The first button I press records. You can add onto that. I know there's a lot of really good stuff out there, but I think that the, the more advanced the board is, the more confusing it is for your live audience. And the, the key is you do not want them thinking you're playing to a background track. And there it is. I've been looping for about eight years now. Ah, maybe nine years now. Um, it's coming a long way. If you have any questions, just write it down in the comments below and uh, I'd be happy to answer them. In the next couple of days, I'll record some more music and do some collaborations with some other artists on the ship, and uh, I think you guys will like that. So stay tuned, subscribe, and I love you.
we go. So I hope that gives you a better understanding of what I do and how I do all this. I know it's quite confusing, but um, just leave it up to me. Wow, you made it this far in the video? Then you might as well hit the subscribe button. And check out this video that YouTube thinks you will like.